Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new IRA Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, obviously, Team of the Season came out uh, on Friday evening. Team of the Season FIFA 21. Very excited about it. Some very nice cards in there as well. I think that Correa card, objective card, looks absolutely fantastic. Big, big fan. I think it's some really nice cards. I think some of my favorite cards that aren't getting as much attention that I think feel like they should have is this Buendia card. I mean, he's extinct, but I just don't see people talking about him. He looks absolutely ridiculous. This card looks phenomenal. Um, so yeah, some very, very nice cards in the team of season selection. I thought we'd get into it and uh, check out some teams and uh, hopefully some team of seasons in some of the teams we're checking out. So got my boy Sean's team first says playing a 4-3-1-2 in game. Right is a left center mid on get forward. That's it, different. It's definitely different. It's interesting. It must be said Sean is an Arsenal fan. Unfortunately for him, um, <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Um, but Sean is an Arsenal fan, hence why Ian Wright's in the team and whatnot. I personally would play Ian Wright striker and Garincha centre mid here. Reason being, Garincha is a far better technical passer of the ball, dribbler on the ball. And I think that the reason why I play Garincha as a centre mid more and Ian Wright as a striker is I, I would almost bet on Ian Wright having far, far, far better finishing stats, far, far, far better composure and whatnot. Um, yeah, we're looking at 91 composure, 96 finishing, 92 shot power versus for the 90 Garincha. Uh, we're looking at uh, 86 finishing, 88 composure, and 83 shot power. I just think this card with the 88 passing, the 93 dribbling, the five-star skills would be far more utilized at left center mid and get forward than uh, Ian Wright. Just out of my personal opinion, um, all in all, it's a decent team, to be fair. It is a decent team. I like the back line. Akanji's solid, and Babu is a good card as well. Um, I do like the back line a lot. Uh, maybe uh, you get a Bundesliga uh, team of season goalkeeper when they come out, or maybe you look to get a, a, you know, a left back that works well. Because this Sambia card was, I think it's a decent card. I don't know what it is about him. He can be so... Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Clumsy, I guess? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only person that has noticed that. Uh, but that's just how I feel when I've tried that card out. Uh, we've got Ben's team's next. Ben's team next. We've got... Uh, uh, let's try that again. We've got Ben's team next. You packed Edward, Keane, and Goldson. All back-to-back -back in the 40 packs you saved. And you built this around... Uh, he Helik the Goat, which is the Polish CB. I don't know how to say his name properly, so apologies about that. Um, hey, I mean, it's a decent team. What league is Helik in? Um, let me have a quick look, because I have an idea for you here. Um, he is in the championship. And then what league is Ricardo Santos in? Oh, he's in English League 2. Bolton in League 2? Damn, Bolton really have fallen off, haven't they? Jeez. I, I, my original thought process was, if he was in championship... Get that Ricardo Santos card at CB because he looks incredible. Six foot five, 99 agility, decent defensive stats, looks solid. Um, in in terms of this team though, playing a three five two, hey, it's decent. I like it. Maybe Dallo left back, Tavernier right back. I'm pretty sure Tavernier's got a three star weak foot, so you might want to have the four star weak foot on the left mid. Sorry, left mid even. Um, and Dallo on the uh, sorry, and Tavernier on the right mid. Um, apart from that, I mean, hey, it's a decent team. I, I like the team a lot. I think it's solid. Um, I do like what you're rocking with, mate. I like what you're rocking with it, uh, a lot. This video was brought to you by OneFootball. OneFootball is a quality all things football app on iOS and Android. It will give you lineup news, team sheet news, who's injured, you know, who's on the subs, goal notifications. I've actually been using OneFootball for quite a while now as I like to keep up to date with different results in the Premier League, for example, but... It's hard to watch all the games at the same time, especially with streaming and making videos. OneFootball is especially good regarding transfer news too. If you ever want to keep up to date with everything transfer news, it's got a tab just for you on your favorite team where you can see rumors, confirmed deals, and everything and anything related to transfers with your favorite team. I also use it to track when games are because I am the worst with times and often forget. And it will tell me, you know, United are kicking off at seven or Everton are kicking off at half four. It's free. It's easy to use. It's on the App Store on iOS or Android, I highly recommend checking it out. One football link in the description down below. We have got LUHG, uh, hashtag glazes out. I respect that as a United fan, I can get behind that movement. Uh, second pick is in game. You're waiting for EPL tots or an Aaron Wan Bissaka to change something up. Um, being Bender or James straight away. Wait, I, I, sorry, I bring on, I bring Bender on for James straight away. Sorry, I was, uh, look, it's been a long day. All right, it's been a very long day. 
Um, what I will say with this team, I do like the team, right? Um, I think the team is solid. I think that it's a little bit ratty, if I'm being completely honest. It's just being said, you've got two fullbacks, a centre back, and a five back. Then you've got you've also got Kleber and Regulon in there as well. So you've got you've got four fullbacks. You know what I mean? Just hey, if it wins your games, it wins your games. I just I'm just stating my opinion. I think that your midfield is good though. I, I do like your attack as well. I think your attack's class too. Um, I do I do respect what you got going up there. I would say. If, hey, if it's working for you, it's working for you. I do feel this motion, though. And I, I resonate so much with you guys when you're saying you're waiting for this to come out. I am in the same boat right now. The only way I improve my team is with, via probably a good pack pool on my RTG account. Um, and I'm just waiting now for upgrades and, and guarantee packs every week to hopefully upgrade players in my team. Or, obviously, rewards as well. Um, so, yeah, rewards, upgrades, guaranteed TOTS packs are... Pretty much the way forward on how I can improve my team going forward as well. So I I agree and I I, I feel it. I you know I understand the boat that you guys are in. Um, in general though, I mean, look, I probably wouldn't say to change anything right now if it's working for you. Can you really change it? Like I don't, I, chemistry is so temperamental in this team. I don't know if there really is anything you can do to change it. To be honest, um, so I'd probably uh, keep it as it is. Uh, we got Charlie Bennett's team now, who said the four two three one of the four four two in game. He got one point nine million spare. Jeez, and you going in SC and via league SBCs. I respect that. Love the vids. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Yeah, SC looks class. I mean, it's a decent team, bro. But with one point nine mil spare, I think you could probably upgrade that Alaba to to team of the season. Yeah, everyone's untradeable apart from Alaba. Mate, sell the Alaba, get the team of the season, bro. You might as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, those coins are going to be sat there for for, for what? For, what are you waiting for? What, what, what are you saving those coins for, man? Get that Alaba bought. Um, what else would I do in this team, if anything at all? Uh, I was going to say maybe Nkunku, but yeah, I don't know. Leon Bailey's probably going to be doing a much better shift as a wide cam. I think this Nkunku card is getting slept on a little bit. For only, like, what, 180k? I think he is. I think this card is getting slept on. He looks quality. He looks absolutely quality. Um, I think people are sleeping on this card. But, yeah, I do. As a wide cam, probably Bailey is the better option there. Nice team, though. Very nice team. Yeah, upgrade Alaba and then and then just see what you get from upgrades or, or perhaps maybe get a different CB. Um, what you could potentially do... Hmm. is maybe i'm gonna sound like such a hypocrite here because i'm gonna say get rid of a center back for a fullback after just slating someone's having fullbacks but you could go and get Mbappé, you know because i just think that that bender card i played against the center back one and he just he's a bit he's a bit of a lamppost to be honest like he's a bit of a lamppost he's just tall thin and not really great I, it, my personal opinion you know if you like him you like him i don't want to sit there and and tell you he's rubbish and change your opinion on someone you already like uh we got joel's team next says 50k liquid at the moment but all untradeable apart from gunter only had this account for about a month just trying to get some advice on where to go next i respect that if you've already done icon swaps then fair enough if you haven't done icon swaps yet get that 83 plus times 25 pack because that's going to get you at least two team of the seasons in i'd almost guarantee it um this is a nice team though i i respect it to be fair for, for an account you've had for about a month You've done pretty well to get yourself what if Gwen Doozy, considering he came out about two months ago, man. Just saying. <laughs> I'm being pedantic. Um, no, this is a good team. Alfonso Davies is 100% not a centre back. Get rid. ASAP. Um, okay, never mind. You are playing Davies at left back and Octavio right back. Uh, maybe play Davies right back, Octavio left back. Both left footers. Octavio has a three star weak foot. Davies has a four star. You know? Um. What else would I do? I didn't like Gunter as a CB either. I, I didn't like Gunter as a centre back, but each their own. Uh, where do you go next? I have been doing league SBCs. If you guys go, um, hey, I'm just you know a little little cheeky plug. If you go to the second channel here, you'll see um, my RTG videos, right? And try to post as much as possible on the RTG account, um, and you'll see probably a 30 minute video come out. It would have come out before this video. Um, and it's it's me just grinding League SBCs, and you guys can see the process that I'm doing. Um, so that's probably th the thing I'd say to do next, is grind League SBCs and see what you can do with that. Because, so, excuse me, the hiccups just come on randomly. There is a lot of profit to be made on them, and you can also get lucky and get a decent pack pool that can improve your team that otherwise you probably wouldn't be able to do or buy unless you got lucky. Uh, we've got Kezi team next. you got a mill to spare. You did have Pookie over Armstrong, but I really want Elite 2 rewards, so Royce went back up top. Bought the goat before he went extinct because I didn't mind losing coins. Uh, and he has 40 goals in 14 games. I'm 13 and 1. Wow. I respect that. As we say that people are sleeping on Buendia. Man's got Buendia. 
I mean, I respect that massively. I get the Pookie scenario as well. That's the sad thing about this game, right? It's it's sad that, unfortunately, in order to win games at a high level, you absolutely have to play to a meta. Um, it is unfortunate, but it just is how it is. Um, and that's how the game is. Uh, and as much as, as, like, we can sit here and moan about it, it's just, you just got to adapt. It's like going into Fortnite and, and you know, picking up a, a grey pistol and hoping to win the game with it. You know, you, you got to you gotta play how you got to play. Uh, it would be really cool if you could use a Pookie in this team, though. Um, it would be really cool. But you do have the English Iniesta in Hughes. Um, you do have Max Aaron's good. I mean, it's a, it's a nice team. It's very different. It's very different. It's very, very, um, uh, very unorthodox. I like it a lot. I think it's quality. Um, and I respect you a lot for it. Uh, in fact, you go for Elite 2 rewards as well. Shows you're a very, very good player. We've got Steve on his team next. We've gone for a cheeky Tots team. 300k for upgrades. Go on, Steve. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, 300k for upgrades, what would I do? I mean, that SGN looks quality. Deco is a CDM is very interesting. I'd actually maybe go out on a limb and say Nedved would be a better box-to-box -box CDM than Deco. Just just going out on a limb. I don't. I think Deco's got like 50 defending. I mean, it depends how you're playing, to be honest. You might not even play him as a CDM. Uh, I think, yeah, 50, 50 defending versus like 70 or something, right? 61. Okay, maybe it's not that big of a difference. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Nedved would be better, but... Yeah, I guess Deco would not be better as a wide cam, would he? Um, you got an interesting defense, though. Maybe upgrade Haps if you can. 300k. Is there a good Dutch left back you can go with? Or maybe just a City left back. Maybe go with like a version of Theo Hernandez you can afford. Um, and then headliner, headliner Hideki. And that's probably about as far as I go right now. That's a decent team. Uh, Clerko's team next. Can you rate my team out of 10? You got 300k. You're getting tags. Uh, almost have SC complete. This is the next weekend league. Correa's class. Love the vids. Hey, thank you, brother. I see you in all the streams, mate. I do appreciate you a lot. Uh, thank you for always chilling. What a quality team. What a quality team that is. I like that a lot. Taglifico looks absolutely fantastic. Um, he's giving me Edgar David's vibes with his picture as well. Uh, Essien, again, looks solid. I, I'd love by the end of Tots to have Essien in my team. Um, the reason why I've not made a dent on him yet is because I just have a weird feeling that we... We're going to see so many Tots cards that just trump him. And then we'll end up getting those Tots cards instead. Maybe from rewards or something, which would be really cool. You know, I'm not complaining if we do. Um, but yeah, if not, then I'd love to have Essien by the end of Tots. Because he looks insane. Um, that right side's really cool as well. Overall, decent team. Out of 10, solid 8.8 out of 10. And the only reason is because Kyle Walker, you know, stinks a little bit. But <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I, 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 as much as I sit here and I like to roast you guys for using fullbacks as center back, I'd do it too. I, I literally used that Kyle, that exact Kyle Walker card on my pay to win account for like 300 champs games. So, you know, like I am a massive hypocrite. I'm only having a joke. Please don't take offense to it. I am only, I'm only uh, pulling your leg. But yeah, like I, out of 10, I'd probably give it a 9.5, truthfully. Because um, I think there are a couple of improvements you can make. I think that when Premier League Tots comes around, you'll make, you'll probably sign a new center mid. Um, and maybe you'll get so I, I think Renato Sanchez will get a, maybe a tots card or maybe there'll just be a better card that replaces Renato Sanchez in the future too. Uh, but yeah, solid, 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 solid team, mate. Solid team. Um, next team's from Snacks. who says same enough for Wamba Saka. Gonna sell Gomez and get him soon. Uh, four triple two slash four four two in game. Mbappe and Kane on the wings. Croy for Neymar up top. Uh, Gomez, Tagliafico, uh, CB right back, Kleber left back, Aaron's. I would probably say use tags as a wide as a fullback and Kleber as a centre back Kleber is one of the best CBs in the game mate Tagliafico is a quality card but I'd probably use him as like a left back to be honest and, and Kleber is your centre back um, I mean don't get me wrong his defending stats look great but he's 5 for 8 he is 5 for 8 with 80 strength man's going to get bullied by a big attacker mate you come against Duvan Zapata and Tagliafico is hitting the deck do you know what I mean uh, overall though team is quality if we get a team of season Tagli uh, team of season um Tavernier, uh, he'll be uh, a quality perfect link to uh, to Ryan Kemp. Uh, I will not lie, this is the exact team I absolutely hate coming up against, though. You've got all the five star, five stars, and just the five star skillers in general, uh, in two insane centre mids, and an incredible back line. You're probably the kind of guy that absolutely bats me in champs and make me rage. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really hate playing against people like that. Uh, just because I know that you you just probably know all of the skill cancels and stuff like that as well. And I I just can't defend. Uh, we're going to do a couple more now, though. Um, so the video isn't too long. I know you guys have got stuff to do today. Uh, just want to know what you think of the squad, to be honest. Loving the streams and the vids. Hey, thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. What do I think of the squad? I think it's very good. I think it's a very good squad. Um, I think that Rykard is questionable. 
to say the least. But uh, apart from that, he's a, he's a good squad. I hate using goalies in 8-chem. 8-chem goalies just tilt me. And I don't know why. Because probably probably isn't anything wrong with an 8-chem goalie. It just tilts me. But other than that, I think that the, uh, the, the team is solid, mate. I think it's a very, very nice team. I like it. I do like it. All right. Um, by the way, uh, I, I don't check out the these ones just because they don't ever look good on screen. For those even watching on mobile, I do apologize. Uh, I only really do the HD screenshots, which are really easy, by the way. You can find a, a tutorial on YouTube on how to do it. Uh, we've got Jamie's team now. First picture is in my, in my team. All incredible apart from Mbappe. Second picture is what I'm playing game. Third picture is what I want my team to be in the next couple of weeks. Only saved 10 packs for community tots and got both one per second Valverde and tradable. Uh, why how excuse like i just it's just not fair really it just isn't fair it's not I, it's not fair i am upset the fact that you're not even using valverde as well makes me really really sad to be honest uh you want okay right yeah no uh i prefer this to, uh you still got around there i definitely prefer this to the other one <laughs> uh no this team looks solid man it looks absolutely quality i would say we will either in my opinion get a team of the season stones or his team this season harry Maguire, and i think both will be good guards because i think ea will give them both big boosts to make them usable to which i would say that you get for laporte and then get yourself like even someone like nick pope and goal um i would then say with team of the season we are bound to get a good right winger that you could put for diata i think diata's quality but i just think that there are better options to go with his dribbling is so sticky but i just think his end product isn't quite there for me and i think that you could definitely upgrade that base one on i think he's far behind the curve in my opinion uh but apart from that like your team is is still absolutely quality i mean you got one one basaka's insane uh what you could even do actually to be fair you could go with um could go with uh, like nick pope and goal save up and get yourself inform kyle walker at center back then put one is center back in game and inform kyle walker at right back um and then get yourself another strong link maybe to uh camavinga with a, a french right mid uh if we get one for tots could work that could be really cool uh just uh just a thought process out there uh we've got alex's team and then we'd have anthony's team and that'll be it for the video so alex's team hey man everyone's untradeable you have 320k i'm not sure how to improve want to try out the Nkunku card on my bench maybe get tots mukiele keep it a good work it's a good shout, but Kleber's just absolutely quality. And I don't think Mukiele would be a good centre-back either. Um, just my personal opinion. I think that the team is decent, though. Yeah, try and get that Nkunku in, maybe. Maybe maybe get that Nkunku in for Bruno Guimaraes. Try and figure that out. Maybe you get a French left-back from Ligue 1. And then you play an Nkunku on 8 and Neres on 8, possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a decent team, though. It is, it is a solid team. Uh, then we've got Anthony's team. You've got 1.5 mil thanks to trading, as well as tradables, which are only Tamori, Cruyff, and Pope. And my next box as well. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, mate. Right, so... I would say with this team, right... I think... One and a half million coins. You could obviously go out and get icons. I think you just wait for upgrades, mate. I would, like... Maybe I play FIFA the wrong way, but I some of my favorite things in FIFA is literally just blowing a load of coins on upgrades and hoping for the best. And I think that it just when you get sick on tradables, it's just fun. Uh, that's just my opinion. I think that your team is really cool though. You got some cool players on the bench as well. If they're not loans, if De Bruyne and Mukiele aren't loans and Mora's not a loan and they're untradable, then I got uh, you've got an incredible bench. But yeah, I like it. I think it's a decent team. And that's gonna end the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you lads later.